Welcome to BritLab. Today we'll be looking at the real effects of those protein powders that you see everyone chugging down at the gym. It used to be the case that protein drinks were the exclusive preserve of enormous bodybuilders shopping at specialist nutrition shops. But these days, it seems you can get them in every single supermarket. And thanks to some very, very clever marketing, these kind of supplements are now encouraged not just for extreme bodybuilding, but as an essential part of any healthy lifestyle. So is that true? First of all, let me explain to you the theory behind building muscle. So when you load a muscle like this, you create small tears, micro tears in the muscle itself. And when they heal, they heal stronger than they were before. You happy with that? To repair muscle, which is made of protein, you need protein. Protein is made up of building blocks called amino acids. So when you eat protein, it's broken up into those building blocks, which go into your bloodstream and then flow into your muscle. So there's an appealing logic to this, isn't there? You're building muscle, which is made of protein, so surely you should eat all the protein you can get your hands on, right? Wrong. Ugh. Now, historically, it was these enormous bodybuilders that decided they needed this extra protein in a cheap, easy to consume form, because what you can't do at a gym when you're pumping iron is eat a ribeye steak. It's just not convenient, it's not practical, and you get grease all over the equipment. So what they turned to was this stuff, whey protein. To make cheese, you take milk and you turn it into curds, which go to make the cheese, and you're left with the whey, the liquid. Now, traditionally, that was a waste product. It was used to feed pigs or spread on fields. But these days, it's dried out and turned into this, dried whey supplement powder. And that's because the protein supplement drinks industry is worth billions and billions of pounds. Not bad for pig food. Oh, and that does taste like pig food. Why do you make me do this? Now you could argue that if you're not getting all the protein you need from your diet, you'd be sensible to top it up cheaply with one of these supplement drinks. But here's the rub. In the UK, men and women already eat 30 to 35% more protein than they need every single day. So anything extra that you consume is either going to be excreted in your urine, or it's going to be turned into carbohydrates, or it's going to be turned into fat. So you will gain weight, but it's not going to be the muscle that you were hoping for. So to sum up, if you are an elite bodybuilder, then these drinks are a really cheap and effective way of getting the protein that you need. But you have to ask yourself an important question. Are you actually a top flight bodybuilder? Or are you just a normal person that goes to the gym three times a week? And in fact, it's probably more like once a fortnight. Because if that's the case, and let's be honest, that is the case, then you are already getting all the protein that you need from your well-balanced diet. <sighs> If you're someone who still thinks that you need extra protein at the gym, then in fact milk or low-fat yogurt work just as well, and they're cheap. But the truth is that if you want a body like mine, there is no substitute for simply doing your press-ups. <laughs> okay, that's gotta be it. Cut. <clears throat> if you want answers to big science questions, subscribe to BritLab.